All right. Okay, guys, thank you all for uh, tuning in tonight. Tonight uh, being the 11th, or no, I'm sorry, the 17th of, uh, of uh, April. And uh, we have here two young people that I am very proud of, um, members of the congregation where I serve, Mr. Todd Bradley and Miss Kalila Dulaney. And I just want to welcome you and appreciate you for, for coming on tonight. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having us. Yeah. So, um, you know, I, I just want to let everybody know these are two of the hardest working young people I know. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and I say this, you know, in, in all honesty, and I really appreciate what you all do for the ministry, what you do for the community, and uh, you're an inspiration to a lot of people within our community. We have a, 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 a growing church, and uh, you all have a lot to do with that, so I appreciate it. So mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you for your hard work. So uh, this will go out, and this bill will be recorded, but I just wanted to let everybody know that these are some dynamite young people. So um, before we start, I'll just uh, mind if I, I just pray. Gracious God, I just thank you for your love and for your kindness, for what you have done and what you're going to do. We just pray, God, you'll continue to lift these young people up, encourage them, strengthen them, and continue to bless their ministry, what you, what they are doing in the community. And we just ask for favor on them and their families. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. amen. So, again, I appreciate you. So, go ahead and uh, tell us a little bit about yourselves, and we'll let the ladies go first. <laughs> uh, I'm Kalila Dulaney. I'm a, a, a transport to Georgia. I was born and raised in Portland, Oregon, and I, in Oregon, I've lived in Georgia for some time now. I live in Cedartown now with my husband and my children, and I am a teacher in Polk County. Okay. And for those who don't know, Taj and Khalil are not married, so. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're more like brothers and sisters. We look just alike. It was just weird. Yeah. So Taj, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, Taj Bradley, um, 26 years of age. I'm actually from Rockmart, Georgia, the better side of Polk County. <laughs> uh, I am married to uh, Dante Bradley, which we have two beautiful boys, um, Zion uh, Bradley, which is eight, and uh, have Taj Jr., which is four. Um, certified personal trainer, which I have my own business, Body by Tati, and um, something else coming up soon. But I currently work for Polk School District as well. And, and, and Khalid is looking at you like she wants to add something now. <laughs> <laughs> No, he just talks a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So go ahead and get started. So uh, tell us about the ministry you all started, uh, Soup and Savior. Soup and Savior is um, a ministry that provides a hot meal every Tuesday night from 6 to 7 at Glad Tidings. We also have a clothes closet where people come in, can come in and find clothing, shoes. We have men's, women's, and children. And then we have food items, too. So you come in, eat a hot bowl of soup. Grab some clothes if you see something that you need. And then also the food items are there for people to take. Um, at, well, we've done soup since we started and the weather got nice. So now we're grilling out. But it's the same um, the same thought. Come on in, fellowship, eat and take what you need. OK, so why did this particular ministry get started? You know, what was it that that caused you to, to even want to come together and do this? Well, that I guess that that's that's where I guess I come into play. Um, I've always wanted to do something for, for God's people. Um, and uh, I guess there was someone that saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. So there was a gentleman, which his name is C.W. Brock. We worked together at AT&T, which he now lives in Orlando. And there's this huge community service project that they have in Orlando. And he said it to me. He's like, hey, um, I think you should do some uh, start a nonprofit organization, which he gave me a blueprint. And I said, oh, my goodness, I could never do that. But it was a multi-year plan that he sent. But I thought it was brilliant. I said, OK, well, this is a start. Maybe God's trying to show me something. So we took that blueprint and I said, OK, Kalila, we can do something in our community. What can we do or what, what should we do? And she said, well, people always need food. So let's feed some people. I said, well, where do we feed them? And she said, soup. <laughs> and it started with soup and we gravitated to the name Soup and Savior. Um, so I, I just I thank CW and for whatever vision God showed him or what, for whatever vision that he saw in me and uh, that blueprint that he sent over to us, which has been nothing but a blessing to us. OK. All right. So who's the leader? How, how does this work? <laughs> She's okay. the boss. Um, <laughs> we I'm, are partners. We're partners. We're, we're partners. co-founders. <laughs> we definitely, though, I think um, we have a great rela relationship. I think that we do this like it comes from the heart. Like it is it's certainly it's a it's a it's it was a message sent from God to do this. And so it's always about God. And so we have a great working relationship. There's a great level of respect. And we also know our strengths and our weaknesses. If he cooks, nobody's coming back. 
<laughs> I mean, you know, it just it just wouldn't make sense. Would, would, he, same, would he mess up soup? I haven't given him the opportunity to try because this is a new ministry. And we don't want anybody to get sick. We don't want to turn anybody away, you yeah. know. So, but yeah. on the other side of that, he's a lot more talkative than I am. He okay. and he's and he's out more and he does a lot more of the social media stuff. So I think we both have our niches and we and we just stay in our lanes yeah. and, and it just works well. And, and you work well together. You work well together. So yeah. what was it that, you know, gave you this passion to reach out to the community? Was it something personal that may have happened or, you know, what led you to do this? Well, for my part, the, the clothes closet part, I re, I went through a, um, a really bad divorce and I moved back to Oregon from Georgia and I wasn't working. And so I was um, volunteering at this church in a clothes closet. And it was just amazing to me how many people came in there and, and literally that was their only place or their space to get clothes. And I think that that's not something I think about. I needed a pair of slacks today and I went and I bought them and it wasn't a, a hardship to my family. And, and, you know, it's getting hot now and I can go buy my kids some shorts because they need, you know, to transition. And I, I just, I don't know, something about um, working there kind of touched me. And it's one of those things, probably everybody we know could go into their closet right now and pull out five or 10 items that they don't wear anymore. Yeah. And so you pass those on somebody needs that. And people are so grateful when I come, you know, when they come and, you know, um, they know now, hey, do you have this size? Do you have that size? I really need some pants. And, you know, we might put them to the side. Um, it makes me feel good that they know they can come over here to look for that stuff. All right. Okay. What about you, Taj? Uh, for me, um, I guess it's more, more on the spiritual side for me. Um, I just know growing up, I, I don't know how I was so fortunate, but I had so many people that helped pave the road, that helped me along my journey. Um, Cause just from the environment that I grew up in, um, mm -hmm. the outcome should have been, it should have been much more uh, difficult. It should have been worse. Um, but I've had so many people that helped me um, along the way and I just want to help other people. So people ask, you know, how do y'all do it? How do y'all do it? Like you guys are going to stop, which we just had a three day camp during spring break. <laughs> yes, we were supposed yeah. to be on break, but <laughs> we had a three day camp. Um, but I, I feel like when it when it truly comes from the heart, um, yeah, it gets difficult. It gets tiring. But at the same time, it's fun. Um, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. And I guess having your heart in the right place, doing it for the right reason, makes it a lot easier to do as well. Okay. So either of you can answer this. What has been the most challenging part of the ministry? Um, for me, I, I, I guess since I do all the talking, um, <laughs> I think one of the most challenging parts um, so far is getting the resources to the individuals that need them. Um, as I said, we're always out talking. Um, we, we, we hit social media hard so often, but then we have to think, hey, the people that we need to reach don't have cell phones, don't have computers. They're not on social media. Uh, so the most challenging part, which we rely on other people. To, to relay the word or to, to connect or let them know, hey, we have this resource here in our community. Um, so that, that the most challenging part is really exalting those resources to physical bodies. And mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's hard. I mean, which we've tried different ways. We load up the stuff that we have left over and we take it around in the truck. Um, but also what we're doing now is we what we do is with leftover items, uh, we try to go to different communities. Um, so just trying to get, get those items to physical bodies is the most challenging right now. Okay. And what about you, Clay? You see anything different? I, I would say the same. Yeah. I would say the same. Okay. Well, you mentioned, you know, getting stuff out to people. Um, I know you all, I know, you know, being there personally, uh, you have volunteers. How does the volunteer work? How does that work with people who want to volunteer? The, the volunteers we have and have had, they just kind of show up. <laughs> And they show showed us. up and continue to show up. I don't even think we realized going into it. I don't think we realized that we would need right. help, a lot of help. <laughs> I just, I don't, I don't know. I think we kind of overlooked that part. And so um, they're just showing up. And then I also think something about, you know, when you're around those, we're always talking about soup and savior. And so even I had one of my coworkers come um, for the spring break camp and she just, you know, heard us talk and she said, Hey, I want to help. So people that want to help can just um, contact us on social media. We we'll take, help <laughs> yes yeah. yeah okay all right well um what's giving you the most joy about the ministry for me it has been the children it, it's it's just we have um children who come you know the, a lot of the times they'll come um maybe they just walk down from behind the church and so they're by themselves and it's like 5 31 and they <laughs> 
Khalil, where were you? <laughs> I mean, they just, you know, they want to be there. And, yeah. I, and I guess as a mom and a teacher, I know Tuesday night, those babies are being fed. And I don't know what happens the rest of the week. But the same way I feel when I provide for my own children, I just think that that, I think the kids are getting me. Yeah. Okay. What about you, Todd? Uh, for me, um, I think I think what we're doing is we're showing what true Christianity is about. Um, this this is the charity. This is the, the groundwork. And I think we're in a different time. Um, I really feel like the the image of the church has changed. Not necessarily the church itself, but I think the pe- our the people within it has changed it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think with Soup and Savior, we have a we have a great time. Um, you can come. Nobody's looking down on you. Uh, we have a gentleman that comes every single week, and he makes sure that Kalila puts his hand on her forehead, and she has to pray for him, or she has to pass him over to me, and I have to pray for him. And then with the kids, I mean, we're young. We have a lot of energy. And they're like, man, like, it, it, it's cool to do this. So yeah. I think just being that example, and at the end of the day, yeah, not every single one of the individuals that comes to Soup and Saber, they may not step foot in the Glad Titans. But what they know is, man, this church is doing awesome things. So despite whatever image or whatever idea that people have of the church in that community, what they can say is, man, that church, those people from that church is doing something different. And I think that's changing. It's reshaping, going back to the image of what God wants his church to reflect. And I think that's, that's that, that, that brings joy to me. And real ministry is grunt work. It's getting your hands dirty, getting out there, um, dealing with people you normally wouldn't deal with. So again, I, I appreciate the energy you all, you all have. My wife and I were talking the other day and cause we used to do uh, the, the youth ministry. We were, she was a youth director and used, I used to help her and we had energy then, but I'm, I'm 50 now. <laughs> 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 and, and the patience isn't what it used to be. So we thank God for young people with the energy and the heart to go out there and, and work with the children in the community. So you have, uh, you reach a, 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 a broad spectrum of people. You know, uh, from what I've seen, um, where do you see yourself in the next two to five years? <laughs> that that's a brilliant question. Um, I'll let her take it first, and I'm gonna follow <laughs> up with her. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I think that you know what I think. I think that we have the things we provide now. I'd like that to expand. Like I want people to know if you're hungry, if you're cold, if you're, if you're sick, um, if, if your kids need tutoring, if you need, um, help with housing in some kind of way, soup and savior can help provide that at human service, human resources ministry, essentially like, and, and it may only, it may be referrals. It may be connecting you with other people, but I'd like to see us expand our range of what we can offer people. Okay. Oh, yeah, more to say. I got a little bit more to say. Uh, <laughs> I, in two to three years, I expect Super Saver to be worldwide known. I tell Kalita, she said, um, she said, what is our, our mission statement? I said, that's a good question. I said, I don't think we can we can change our community. I said, we can change the state. I said, man, you know what? We can we can change America. I said, no, 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 we can change the world. Dream and, big. Uh, that's it. That's it. And for those that, that do follow us, um, I mean, as I said, we, we, we do work here in our community. I think every, it, it starts home. It yeah. starts home. It really does. Um, but we have made impact um, in Atlanta, uh, which we, we can have a couple more projects to come in Atlanta. Um, and I, I guess in two to three years, I, I just see, hopefully we have a larger team. Um, hope we have a lot. We'll definitely need a larger team. But I, I, I see us expanding and not just changing our community, but having a, having a print or impact on the world. Okay. Well, um, what would be the, um, I guess, the final words for our, our viewers, our listeners? How can they help you? What would you like to be done? Take that one, buddy. Oh, um, I always say um, we always solicit prayers. It, it starts with prayer. I think that's the foundation. Um, without God, without Jesus Christ, we're nothing. Um, we, we wouldn't have the energy. We wouldn't have the passion about it. So we always, always solicit prayers. Um, as I just said, we always need volunteers. Um, if you want to, I, I tell people, um, it's one thing to see the pictures and the videos that we post, but to truly get that feel of what's going on, the amazing things that are being done in this community, just show up and you don't even have to do anything. Just come out and see the smile on the kid's face, see the smile on the parent's face. When I say we have some, we have some real men that come out there that work hard, but at that moment, um, I know as a man, they sit, they set their pride aside. They go through those clothes. 
They sit down, they eat. We make sure we talk to them. Um, so if, if you can just show up, um, just just step in. And, and as I said, we always take financial donations. Uh, we take clothing, non-perishable items. Um, but also, one thing, as I said earlier, that we need is we need bodies. So if you if you don't need that resource, I can I can name 10 people right now that need the resource. So I'm sure someone else that knows 10 people um, that they know that need that resource. So just spread the word. And um, also, we can be found on Facebook um, at Soup and Savior. Uh, we also have a website, uh, www.soupandsavior.com. And I'm still rolling. We're on Instagram, Soup and Savior. You can even find us on Snapchat, Soup and Savior. Um, so if, if you want to get involved, um, you can go and view. We have tons and tons of pictures, tons and tons of videos. Um, so it's easy to view what's going on uh, every single week. We do this every week. This isn't a, a, a once a year or half a year or every quarter. This is every single week. Um, and as I say, that I, I tell people all the time, we can't make, we can't do it without you all. We really can't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, you all, I do appreciate you again. And uh, I, I want to encourage you to continue to do what you do. And if I can help in any way, uh, I'll help you. Matter of fact, I, I think I. Every uh, first Tuesday, mm-hmm. we got you. Yeah, <laughs> we got dishes, Pastor. I was, I was, I was feeling good that day. So, I, since, since I put my word out there, first Tuesday of every month. So that's it. We, you know what? Though we should. I'm sorry. We should thank you because Taj is always thinking of ideas, and I say, wait a minute, Taj. However, when he came up with this idea, you were the first person we talked to, and you said, oh, okay. okay. And I, I distinctly remember telling Taj, no, nah, don't text him. Call him back because it. explain it to him. <laughs> and then even when we call, you said, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And I don't feel like you've been anything but a support to us the whole time. So we appreciate you because yeah, it, with, it, without that little push or, or that okay, we'd be, um, I don't well, know. <laughs> yeah. Again, I just continue to pray for you all and pray for the ministry. And I, again, I heartfelt appreciation for what you do. And guys, you check them out on Facebook. Twitter, Instagram, and I just put the link, uh, soupandsavior.com. Check them out. And if you can help in any way, do so. Reach out to Kalila, to Taj, and uh, to all our vis- to all our volunteers, rather. I appreciate all that you do. You know, we have a lot of Absolutely. people come down you know, from the church, some that are not even members of our congregation. They come mm-hmm. out and help and support. So, again, guys, I appreciate all you do. And I want to let you know, continue to do what you do. And uh, God's going to do amazing things for you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Hey, y'all have a blessed one. You as well, Pastor. Thank you. All right.